Okay, here's the problem statement. Here's what I want to do. There is a blog post style component, which is passing a summary text through a truncate pipe. And that's causing this text to get truncated. And this is great. This is exactly the functionality we want. But in this video, what I want to do is move this logic into the component class inside this class. Now, why would I do this? Why would I move it here? I'm going to explain that. But first, let's see how to move this thing. You have a truncate pipe, which is great. But now, how do I call the truncate pipe from the component? Well, why do you want to call it the pipe? Why not just add that logic here? Well, calling the pipe is going to make sure you've consolidated that logic in one place and the pipe kind of the pipe class that you've created acts as a one stop shop for any of the truncate logic, right? You don't want to be re implementing the truncate logic everywhere. So you have a pipe, we should be using that everywhere. And in this case, I know how to use this in the HTML. Now, how do I use that pipe inside the component? Well, the easy way, the quick and dirty way, is to just use it as a class. You see, this truncate pipe is basically a class, right? It's it's a TypeScript class, and you can import it, create a new truncate pipe, and then call the transform method on it, right? You can pass in the value, and then that's going to get transformed. It's pretty simple, right? You can go here to your uh, component, and then say uh, truncate pipe equals new truncate pipe, and then call truncate pipe dot transform. But there is a better way. Instead of having each component that needs the pipe create a new instance and then get rid of it when it's done, you can just use a single instance, make that a singleton, and then have every component have that in that single instance injected to them. Does this sound familiar? Well, this is very similar to how services work in Angular. A service is essentially a quote unquote singleton that gets injected into components when it asks for it. So you can similarly use the same injection for Angular pipes as well. So what you can do is use the class name inside the provider section of your module. And guess what? This truncate pipe is going to be treated as a provider. You can dependency inject pipe instances to your components, which is super handy. So that's what we want to do here instead of using the pipe in the markup, what I'm going to do is remove that from the markup. And now we're back to showing the whole thing here. And here what I'm going to do is on ng init, once I get the post, notice I'm not doing this in the constructor. I'm doing this in the ng init because we don't want to have a whole lot of logic in the constructor. We already covered that. So in the ng init, what I'm going to do is call the truncate pipe. First, I need to get an instance of that. And that's where we're going to use the constructor for dependency injection. So I'm going to call a private truncate pipe is going to be the truncate pipe instance. And now since I have added that as the provider, Angular is going to do dependency injection for me. And now what I'm going to do is in my ng on init, I'm going to use that pipe to say this dot post dot summary equals I'm going to truncate it. So I'm going to say this dot truncate pipe dot transform. We know that the truncate pipe has a method called transform. We've created that and that's what Angular uses. But in this case, we could technically use any method. All we need to do is transform. So we're going to call transform and we're going to pass in this dot post dot summary and then we want 30 characters right so I'm going to pass that as the second argument I'm going to press save and now you see we are back to where we started but this time we are using the component and calling the pipe function from a dependency injected pipe instance so we don't have to create that instance multiple times we get to leverage the same instance in various different components. So this is one way, this is another way in which you can call uh, pipe functions, this time directly from the component. I'm asked for the question why I did this. I'm doing this because I want to implement this logic and we're going to tackle this in the next video. Here's what, here's the functionality you want to do. This is the collapsed text, right? This is the truncated text. 
Now, I want to implement a feature where I can click on this truncated text and it expands to the whole text. Okay, that's what I want to implement. So we're going to be learning a couple of different things there. So we're going to tackle that in the next video. What we're going to be doing is a click on a truncated text should expand the full text in place. See you in the next video where we'll try that out.